Welcome to Cheese Lover Shop Kitchen. I'm Chef Greg. I'd like to show you the many ways you can use our wonderful cheeses. Today we will be featuring our Suprat. It's a cow's milk soft ripened cheese produced in Lena, Illinois. Today we'll be making the ultimate mac and cheese. For this we'll need our wheel of Suprem, milk, cavatelli pasta, lobster, garlic, tarragon, and some truffle gravy. For the first step, we're gonna cut our cheese. Now, we'll pour our milk into the blender, add our Supreme. Starting off slowly. So in essence, we basically just made our cream sauce. They set into a moderately heated pan, stir. Now while that's heating, we will add our garlic, tarragon, truffle, stir. Turn up the heat a little. We just want to warm this. Once it's warm, we'll add our cavatelli. Mix that well. Let that heat. Season with salt, black pepper. Now that that's hot, we'll add our lobster meat. And we just want to heat that. We don't want to cook it. Now, we'll garnish it with a little cooked lobster roll. I just happen to have some around from cooking the lobsters. And there you have it, the supremely ultimate mac and cheese. For this recipe, we'll be making a milfoy or a Napoleon with our supreme. It's always delightful with a rich, creamy, and buttery taste. We will need a wheel of supreme, one sheet of puff pastry, some fig jam, and some cocoa powder. First, we'll begin by using our supreme drum to cut out three oval shapes. And now lay our puff pastry upside down on our baking tray. We will then top it with another tray. We'll place that in a 400 degree oven for 11 minutes. Okay, now that it's baked, we'll set these on the side to cool. We're gonna take our wheel of supreme and split it into three even layers. The center section will be our top layer, our bottom layer, and another layer. We will cover two of these exposed pastes with our fig jam. Now we'll stack them. We'll place them back in our oven for eight minutes. We'll remove them from the oven. Carefully slide off the tray onto our platter. To garnish, we're gonna use cocoa powder. Since cocoa powder is bitter, it goes quite well with the cheese. Remove the paper. And there we have our Lempoleum or Milfoy of Supreme. For this recipe, we'll be using two chicken breasts, white mushrooms, chicken stock, heavy cream, and some peas. We'll be basically making a supreme sauce. We'll start by adding our chicken stock to our pan. While that's heating, we'll season our chicken breast with salt, black pepper, both sides. Now that the chicken stock is hot, we'll place our boneless skinless breast inside. Turn it down to just gently simmer, about two to three minutes, we'll then turn them over. At this stage, we'll add our mushrooms, make sure they're in the liquid, and we'll simmer them for another two to three minutes and baste them as they're simmering. When they're finished cooking, you can tell by pressing on them, they'll be very firm. We'll remove, place on a tray. Okay, at this point, we'll add our heavy cream. We're gonna let this reduce. This should take about five minutes. See, it's starting to thicken up. At this point, we'll turn our heat down and we'll add our Supreme. By adding the cheese, this will start to also thicken the sauce. Gently stir until the cheese is melted. Now we'll strain the sauce. We'll add the strained sauce back to the pan. Add our chicken breasts and our mushrooms back in carefully to heat up. We'll baste again. We'll let that simmer. And we'll turn the heat down. Add some of our frozen peas. We'll move the chicken breast from the sauce. We're gonna serve that on a bed of couscous. So there you have it. This is our Supreme sauce made with our Supreme product. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at cheeseloversshop.com.